Hey, what's up, everybody? Ironbug here. And welcome to the channel. Today, I have a super exciting VR title to show you. It's called Timeless Paradox on Steam VR, and I'll be experiencing it with my Quest 2 with Airlink again. Now, I am a huge anime fan. From the colorful characters, to the detailed environments, and the rich stories, they just immerse you into their world. I've watched a ton of animes, played so many flat screen anime games, but what really excites me is when I come across that VR anime game. I get to take my two loves and combine them together. And that's what I have to show you today. Timeless Paradox is an action-adventure JRPG animation in VR. And it looks exciting. To sum up the story, the champion was in a great battle to save the world, but she fell, and all went to hell. Now, we've been given a chance to go back in time, but we have to make a decision. Will we help the champion? and save the world? Or will we let history repeat itself and let time remain the same? Now from what I've seen in these trailers, the world looks great. The characters look amazing. It looks very hands-on with lots to do with your motion controllers. And the story just sounds compelling and wants me to want to play. So with that, Let's dive into the game. All right, everybody. Here we are inside Timeless Paradox. And I got a little more info on the story. So what happened was the champion was fighting the dragon. And as she was fighting the dragon, these mysterious chains appeared around the royal castle, locking everyone out. And it ended the battle abruptly. Now, no one is able to enter the castle or leave the castle since these chains, and no one has seen the champion. And because of these chains, all the small towns around the kingdom no longer have protection and the trade routes have closed, so the towns are hurting. They're, they have no business, they have no people going through them. And we live in one of these small towns. We play the role of Edward, and we own a tavern in this here little town. So we're going to go into the tavern and take a look around. All right, guys, here we are inside our tavern. It's a nice, cozy little tavern. This is our sister, Alyssa. Hi, Alyssa. And together we run this tavern. And she wants us to help make dinner, so we're going to be making some soup. Alright, so here are the ingredients for the soup. Now I need a cheese, ham. This is really neat. I feel like I'm playing a cooking game right now. It's so interactive. And we all know anime is all about its food. Right. You gotta get the ingredients just right. And one mushroom. Now, I've tried filming this already and it was a fail. The video turned out to be three hours. There was a ton of spoilers in it. So I'm redoing it this time. I'm going to end it a little early before the story gets too heavy and I can't cover up the spoilers. And I'm going to be skipping the actual story parts of this because who wants to watch an anime or play an anime VR game if you already know the story? So with that, we'll get back to our soup. All right, soup seems to be done. Look at that, a nice little bowl of it. All right, so we've made dinner. And our sister Alyssa here was telling us how she feels like we need to move. We need to leave this town as well because we're not going to keep up the business. 
But then she started telling me about a mysterious customer that came in uh, days before the whole event with the champion happened. And this mysterious character knew everything that was going to happen and said that we had to get this here pocket watch. As we can see, this pocket watch holds some power. This looks sweet. This is just trippy, but I'm loving the music. Alright guys, we are in another dimension. The pocket watch has brought us to the time palace. And it looks beautiful. Now, this is Leela. She is the keeper of the time palace. She looks really cool too, and check out her tag. And she's informed us that for some reason, we have the ability to come here and are able to change history. And that's what each one of these gears represent. They represent a period in time that we will go into and change. Now this is like the hub. So you're gonna do a part of the story, and then you'll return here She'll tell you how the outcome came, and you'll go into the next part of the story. Kind of reminds me of uh, Zelda with the time palace and everything when he time traveled back and forth. But yeah, the story so far has been really cool. And we're going to do what she said. We're going to jump into the first gear here and see if we can change history. All right, so that gear brought us to a forest. And to get past these vines, we need to catch butterflies. All right, come here, butterfly. Wish I had a net. Never caught a butterfly with my hands. Hey. So, each time we catch the butterflies, it destroys the vines. Now, I'm playing this game with smooth locomotion and smooth turning. I'm using room scaling though to turn, because it's quicker than the smooth turning. But there's also a teleport mode. So this has a comfort level for everyone. That was an easy butterfly. There's one more. Those were easy butterflies. Aha! This really feels like I'm in the Lost Forest and I'm about to find Link's sword. But instead, there is our champion and she is suspended in chains. just been given two magic swords which sound amazing now to do attacks in here you have to look at the target and slash Freed our champion. <laughs> I 
Our swords are floating. Yeah, I can still control them. And here is our champion. She too looks amazing. They did a really good job on these characters. So our champion has told us her name. It's a cell. And she was locked in these chains before the battle of the dragon by a dark knight. And these weapons were hers. They're twin blades. And they were supposed to be her weapon to slay the dragon. But because we touched them, they have bonded to us. And she doesn't know why. Because they're only supposed to be for the chosen one. Now, she needs a weapon to fight the dragon, fulfill the destiny. So we have to help her find the Spear of Destiny. And we will do that. So now we head back to the Time Palace because we've changed history. And we'll find out what our next task is. So she just informed us that her theory is right, that we can alter and change the past and that we have. And that we need to continue doing this because we seem to be the one to special abilities for it. So, as I was saying, after each mission, we return here and we go to the next time period to change everything. So we'll jump in. All right, so here we are back with Estelle and she's been busy and she found her spear, but it's guarded by this huge pumpkin guardian that we're going to have to defeat to get the spear. So, let's bring on the battle. Alright, so we have to defeat... Pumpkins. Well, jack-o'-lanterns, which is fitting because it's the end of October right now. And it's Halloween season, so this is like the perfect boss. And I love pumpkin pie, so I'm going to destroy this guy. Now this game is very physical. I'm actually swinging to fight this boss. Oh, I can attack his force field. Yes. As I say, I'm actually swinging. Unlike the flat screen games, where you just smash a button, you're physically fighting here. So you're gonna get a workout with this game as well. Oh yeah, when you cross your swords, they make a shield. Alright, attack the force field. Take it, boy. Sneaky. Whoa, almost took a hit there. Whew. So, yeah, that's my health bar floating above me. And the other bar, I believe, is how much shield I have. You can see his health bar on the side. I'm also using some room scaling to move around.
Yes! Get him, Estelle! Look at her champion go. Oh, look at that kick! Backflip! She is a ninja! No wonder she's a champion. And she, like, Ryu punched him. Woo! Right, Estelle. Here comes your spear. All right. So with Estelle's help, we have defeated the pumpkin. All right, so we've gotten Estelle her Spear of Destiny. We have changed history once again. And now, let's go back to the Time Palace. So we are back at the Time Palace with our lovely Keeper here. And she's informed us that we're on the right path and things are changing and unsure. And yes, we'll jump into the next one. I believe this might be the last one I can show you before just seeing the world's gonna give away the story. All right, so we are back with Estelle and she's got her Spear of Destiny and she's found us a very large friend to fight. This big, huge Iron Knight with a gigantic ax four big health bars is our next target and he looks tough so let's jump into this battle and help our champion now we can chain our attacks together like uh, other JRPGs so you can Chain your character's attacks. workout from this game. Let's get him, Estelle! Yes! All right, Estelle! That is our champion, folks. So with Estelle's amazing moves, we have taken down the big iron giant. And whew, I'm a little exhausted from that. Much different than mashing an Xbox controller or playing with a mouse and keyboard. All right, so now that we've done this and changed history again, Back to the Time Palace. All right, guys, we're back at the Time Palace. Took out a giant knight, a giant pumpkin. We've seen how the time hubs work. I can't go any further on. I go to this gear. It's going to reveal some spoilers to the story. Even if I skip the story, it's just seeing what happens is going to spoil it for you. So I don't like ruining animes for people. So I'm going to be ending it here, guys. This game is beautiful. It's Timeless Paradox on Steam VR. And as I said, I'm experiencing it with my Quest 2 using Airlink. And the game runs beautifully. Now, this game has an amazing story. 
It's got great looking characters, amazing, unique looking enemies. The world is beautiful. It's got all the JRPG and anime elements that you'd want in stunning VR. And as I said, it's going to be a workout as well because you're physically swinging. And for me, I move in my VR room, so I'm physically moving too. This game is a workout. But yeah, if you love animes and you love VR, this is a must pick up title. This game is just beautiful. I hope I didn't ruin anything with what I'm going to put in this video for you. And uh, thank you for joining me in this VR anime adventure. And until next time, cheers, everyone.